you're looking to add a little spice to your chords, over the next five days I'll be sharing five chords that I love to use in prog rock and metal. Now I use a lot more than just these five chords obviously, but these are ones that I've found a lot of success with in this style of music. First up is the minor major seven chord. This is one I've talked about many times, in fact I already have a video that goes into pretty great depth on it, but in this lesson I want to talk about how I most commonly use it and some of the specific guitar voicings that I like. The minor major seventh chord is what it sounds like, a minor chord with a major seventh. For example, an A minor chord has the notes A, C, E. Add the major seventh interval to that, a G sharp, and you get an A minor major seven chord. This chord naturally occurs in both the harmonic and melodic minor scales on the root chord because both of those scales contain a raised seventh degree. Here's harmonic minor and melodic minor. The natural minor scale has a minor seventh interval and therefore would have a normal minor seventh chord built off of its root note. But with the minor major seventh chord, I personally usually think of harmonic minor, and it's probably because I spent a lot of years learning Yngwie Malmsteen licks. Here are a couple of the main guitar voicings I use for this chord, and these are all using an E minor major seventh chord. This is the main voicing I like to use, especially with distortion. It's basically an E minor bar chord, and I lower the root to the major seventh. You can do this on the low E string as well. I found this voicing works well in a heavier context. This voicing has all of the notes of the chord in order, one, flat, three, five, seven, E, G, B, D sharp, a very efficient voicing for showcasing the sound of this chord. And one last voicing here is this. I'm actually gonna do this in a different key because it's kind of hard up here on my guitar. But it looks like this, this is an A minor major seventh. And this has some higher notes and it really showcases the top of the chord, flat three, five, seven. And this part of the chord is an augmented triad. So where would I use this chord the most often? This chord can be used as a substitute for a basic minor chord in almost any situation, especially if that minor chord is the root chord of a key. In the key of E minor, for example, I'll turn the root chord of E minor into an E minor major seventh. Here's a basic one, six, four, five progression in E minor. E minor, C, A minor, B7, and I'll replace the E minor with a minor major seven. Notice that works perfectly well and it adds a darker, more exotic flavor to the progression. And I could even replace the A minor with the minor major seventh. This chord has a darker, more dissonant sound to it than a basic minor triad or a normal minor seventh chord. So when I want that vibe, I'll use this chord in place of a minor chord. Here's a few examples of that from some of my songs. In my song Escape Velocity, I use an E flat minor major seventh chord as the foundation for this whole main riff and melodic section. There's a G minor major seventh chord in the solo section of Cosmic Void instead of a straight minor chord. Really nice for this fusion vibe, and this progression also uses an A flat minor major seventh.
The piece of music you heard at the beginning of this video was specifically written using mainly the five chords I'm going to be covering this week, and here I'm once again using an E flat minor major seventh in place of a straight E minor chord. And if you want a slightly darker dissonant sound, especially on the root chord of a key, this is a really effective sound to reach for, and it sounds great in a lot of different contexts. And if you want an even more in-depth look at this chord, including some other ways to use it, check out my other video, I'll link that down below. And I will see you all for chord number two tomorrow. Until then, stay proggy.